know the good news? What? It's all downhill on the way home. Yeah. <laughs> morning and so today we are heading down the road to Narrabri.
So driving um, Coonabrow Brown to Narrabri today, we um, heard a big bang and a rush of air and we thought we'd blown a tire on the van. Um, so we pulled over and had a look and there was nothing wrong. There's definitely something going on underneath um, the hood of the car. So um, we limped into Narrabri and um, we've just given the NRMA a buzz and got them out to have a quick look and um, we'll see what they say. 100% better. Okay. Yeah. But having said that, we've just driven uh, Coonabarra brand. Aero gone now, or is it still there? Okay, so good news. It looks like the issue is that a hose burst off um, while we were driving, and we put it back on, and um, we'll wait and see what happens. All of the errors have cleared though, so we'll see. So that fix worked to a point. Um, we're currently chasing down Holden in Narrabri to figure out how to fix the rest of the issues. Right, so do you want the good news or the bad news? Good news. Uh, well, the good news is he's gonna come out and put the scan tool on it and check it out and see what's going on. Okay. Bad news is if he needs to do any work on it, we can't get in until the 18th of August. <laughs> August? <laughs> yeah. Okay. So we'll just have to wait and see what he says when he brings the diagnostic tool out. We've had the car looked at, we've had it on the diagnostics. You're probably better to. to yeah, say so, what. Um, so Jack put the diagnostic tool on, tried to clear the code, um, which he did, and uh, the same, um, same error message kept coming up. Uh, so he's had a little bit of play around with it. He was just saying to us that he, um, he actually ended up using a Captiva reset code to override the DPF. Um, and has then just taken it for a bit of a test drive and it's managed to clear the DPF. So we should be good to go. Thank you very much to Jack from Capitar Motors in Narrabri for squeezing us in at very short notice given that we were given originally a three week um, time frame to be able to have it looked at. So thanks you, for that guys. On you Jack. hiking in Mount Kaputar today um, and we've just come up the first part of the road and it's dirt and it's very very corrugated so we're just going to take some time to air the tyres down a little bit from highway driving to dirt roads so we have a little bit more of a comfortable ride. <music>
walk, mate. It's all uphill. It was all uphill to get here. <laughs> Got to go downhill at some point. <laughs> So where are we? We are at um, Gunny Wiggle State Conservation Area. Yep. Which is not spelt Gunny Wiggle.
through Gunnigwiggle National Park and it is absolutely stunning. And we came across a waterfall and we decided to climb the rocks to the top of the waterfall. And on the way back down, I slipped and we had a casualty. And Steve's not very happy with me, but we'll get it fixed. So there's some highlights from our first 100 days um, full time on the road. Um, hope you've enjoyed that as we've done a big loop mainly around uh, New South Wales. Um, lots more adventures to come. But uh, Belle, what's been your biggest highlight of the first 100 days? My highlight has probably been all the hiking through like the Warren Bungles and Gunny Wiggle. I wanted to do that for a while yeah. and just moving around and seeing new towns and new. Um, communities and mm. just getting to experience those things. Yeah, same. Uh, definitely a highlight for me was uh, hiking Warren Bungles. Um, I've known about that for a long, long time. My parents, uh, grandparents spoke about the Warren Bungles and uh, glad that I finally got a chance to go and experience that. So what would you say your biggest challenge has been um, from the last hundred days? Um, I think just getting used to being on the road constantly and making sure that um, the ute and the van are in good nick and maintained and just those few little jobs and bits and pieces. Um, when you're moving constantly there's always stuff that needs attention so um, just making sure we've got a good routine and making sure that we can um, keep all that top notch. Yeah, yeah for sure. Otherwise we're stopped dead in our tracks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and what about you? What's been your biggest challenge? Um, my biggest challenge so far has been that 72 hours at Mossvale. <laughs> yeah. 300 mils of rain in 72 hours and we were virtually stuck in the van 24-7. Yeah. It was, that was a tough one. That was a bit trying. Yeah. Um, but anyway, Netflix come to save the day. <laughs> <laughs> So to keep up with our adventures, um, make sure you like and subscribe and that way you'll get a notification every time we upload a new video. Thanks guys. Good on you guys.